Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn SQL Server clustering from scratch. Keep in mind, this is going to be a playlist and I have put down right here high level items that we're going to learn in this playlist. So our first item is preparing cluster nodes for SQL Server installation and we do have a checklist and checklist contains a bit more detail and we'll be using that checklist right here uh, when we do the demo. Uh, other high level items is we'll be learning creating cluster, verifying cluster configuration, adding shared disk to the cluster, installing SQL Server once the cluster is stood up, and looking at active, passive, and active, active configuration overview, and how to fail over, and also looking at the cluster events overview. So right here is our checklist, and we do have action items. Let's go through each action item and talk a little bit about them first action item we have is selecting number of nodes and obtaining their IP addresses. Keep in mind that any node that you wanted to add to your cluster, it needs to have a static IP. In my case, I'm in this demo, I'm using um, two nodes and I have two nodes right here, TBS node one, TB TBS node two and their IP addresses. Number two, cluster name and IP address. When you create cluster, cluster basically is a logical object that contain all your clustering information. So that needs to be created uh, in your DNS and ha need to have um, IP address. In my case, it's Tech Brothers 2012 cluster and 192.168.160. Now, if you're using this cluster to in install SQL ser Server in clustering mode, you need to install MSDT services and it gets installed as an application. Any Anything that gets installed on cluster as an application needs to have static IP address and name. In my case, it's TBS MSDTC and IP addresses right here. So uh, preparing all nodes that are participating in cluster. So this is basically highly towards uh, SQL Server. So these, this checklist right here, number four, needs to be executed against any node that you are preparing for SQL Server installation. Let's go through these items real quick. Our first item is failover clustering feature. This is Windows feature. In my case, I'm using Windows 2012. Uh, any node that you're planning to add in your cluster needs to have failover clustering feature installed. Number two, since we're preparing these nodes for SQL Server cluster installation, distribution transaction becomes mandatory and we'll be installing that Windows feature as well. .NET Framework 3.5 is mandatory because without that, our SQL Server installation is going to fail. As far as communication goes, we'll be using two local area network. One is external for external communication between your um, uh, organization network and your nodes and cluster. Number two, local area network private, also known as heartbeat. This will be used um, in communication between your nodes only. Uh, we'll be using shared disk. As you can see that I'm use, so using separate for quorum, uh, SQL Server data, uh, SQL Server log, temp DB and backup devices disks. All these disks needs to be presented to all the nodes that you're planning to have in your cluster. Uh, once the cluster is stood up, you're ready to install SQL Server um, on the in, in cluster mode. So any instance that you, if you're planning to have more SQL Server instance on this cluster, each instance need a separate static IP. In my case, I'm going to use one first, 192.168.164, that is for my one instance. If I install another instance, I need to have another static IP. As I said, that it needs to have a um, separate IP per instance. So. Next up here, we'll be learning in our demo creating cluster. Uh, we'll be verifying the configuration. I'll be going through some active, passive, and active, active configuration as well. And we'll be um, learning how to add the disks and all that. And um, also, a uh, cautionary thing right here. I have put down failover uh, disks and distribution services needs to be installed prior to SQL Server installation as we talked about right here. So um, configuration setup, active, active, I'll be talking about as far as uh, SQL Server clustering goes, that uh, what it means when it comes to active, active, and active, passive configuration. So this is a checklist that you can use to execute against any uh, clustering, whether it's a 2008 R2 SQL Server clustering or uh, 2012.